What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another Patreon video. I appreciate all your support and I'm going to jump straight into this video topic right here. It's about the biggest financial mistake of all time. On this platform, I want to speak more freely about issues that I'm seeing in life and I want to talk about the biggest financial mistake of all time. There's way too many people doing this and there's people you and I see every single day that are doing this. You might not even be doing this yourself and it's a mistake that I find myself falling into every now and then. It's really a big trap and it's it's pretty hard to get out of, to be honest with you. But I'm just gonna start speaking on it. Overextending yourself at work. Giving too much of yourself to a company that does not appreciate you. Spending in extra hours, double checking on things, checking emails on your day off relentlessly. Answering phone calls if you got a work phone like I do. Taking your laptop home, doing work at home not setting boundaries, not taking time off for an extended amount of time, gunning for a promotion and working super, super hard only to not get it. Those are all very big financial mistakes because what that does is it traps you in the world of your workplace. And remember, this is only one stream of income. This is the only way you're getting paid right now, right? And it's not good for your mental health. It's not good for your physical health to overextend yourself over a consistent amount of time. Right now we have the pandemic going on. So we have headcount issues at pretty much every single workplace you can think of, which means the people that are there have to pick up extra work. This is not good. So the reason why this is such a big mistake, let's say you're making $75,000 a year and your job only really requires you working in anywhere in between 40 to 50 hours a week but now you're doing 60. That's a problem, you're not getting paid anymore for that. Let's say your salary, you're not hourly, you get paid a flat rate, no matter how many hours you work, that's, that's what you get paid. When you get locked into this trap, what you're gonna do is you're gonna attract more people at your job who are also in this trap. And I always say, the five people you spend most of your time with or who are gonna be influencing your life. And you're gonna have very similar attributes that they do. You might make a similar salary to what they make. You might think similar to how they think. You might be with them complaining about, man, this guy is never here. This I, I'll never see them, blah, 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 talking junk about the same people, right? You might both be working 65 hours a week. You might even get to work at the same time and do the same exact amount of hours they do. You both, you both probably come in to work early and leave late, overextending yourself for no reason. I don't want you to think I'm blowing this out of proportion. I legitimately do think this is the biggest financial mistake of all time because what it does is it puts you in a group of people, a very, a very specific group of people who cherish their work almost over everything. They'll never outright say it, but their actions show that their work is more important. I had a training to go to and one of the vice presidents straight up said, hey, I don't really believe in work-life balance. I was like, what? What do you mean you don't believe? What? He was like, yeah, we're all busy. We're all in here all the time. We're in here more than we see our own families. That's BS, bro. Look, man, I, look, I'm going to tell you straight up. That is BS. It's true. It's true. But the reality of it is BS. Why should I give you more time than I give my family, the people I care about, my friend, for a certain dollar amount that gets capped out at a certain time? That is ridiculous. You can't tell me working those types of hours are good for your health. When, when do you go to the doctor? Tell me, when do you go to the doctor? Walking around with stress and you going home thinking about work. You tell me you don't get put at risk for high blood pressure when you do that? All in the name of being successful being called a vice president, being called a manager, being an executive of leadership. And this is just an example I'm giving you. It could be anywhere. It could be doctors, nurses. I have nurse friends, I have people in medical school that I know that I'm tight with that tell me about these things. It's ridiculous. The hours are stupid. It, like it really doesn't make sense. And I know I'm getting kind of fired up, but it's true. It's a financial mistake. Sure, you're getting paid, but at what cost? If you're doing... If you're, if you're doing 80 hours of work on a 40 hour salary, how are you winning? You're not winning. You're not seeing your family. It ruins relationships. It caused so many divorces that I've literally seen happen right before my eyes. You're missing your kid's football game or baseball game. You're not spending time with your significant other. I'm busy. I'm working. BS excuses, man. 
BS excuses. There's never an excuse. There, there's never going to be anything that excuses you from spending time with the people that you love. And if you're living at work, and I've done this before so I can 100% say it. And once I was living at work, I missed out on spending time with a lot of family members. And let me tell you something. Some of them passed away. I will never be able to speak to them again. That is a financial mistake. Placing money over people you care about is a big financial mistake. Placing money over your health, your mental, your physical health, over your sleep is a big financial mistake. You know why? Because that makes your mortality rate go up. That shaves years off of your life. And you might say, well, you know, I'm, I'm working towards getting this car. That, that, that's great. This house. That, how is it worth it if you have to then keep doing what you're doing right now to maintain that? You're upgrading your lifestyle and it's not worth it. Because now you have to go for a promotion or for more money or spending even more hours at work just to maintain that. It's not good. And the thing is, a lot of times the company does not appreciate it. Sometimes they don't even see it. It's crazy. I've seen it myself. Like, There's been times where I spent 70, 80 hours a week in my workplace. Didn't get a single thank you or nothing. But when I messed up, though, I heard about it. Of course you're going to mess up. You spent 70 to 80 hours a week at work. You're not getting sleep. You're not eating right. You don't even have anybody to vent to at that point. Who are you going to vent to? You don't get to talk to nobody because you're at work all the time. The rest of the time is spent sleeping. Big financial mistake. You gotta set boundaries for yourself. I can't stress that enough. And and that, that's one thing the pandemic taught me and I think everybody else. Time at home is more important. And a lot of these jobs out here you can do from home. You can, my job can't be done from home. I can tell you from experience it can't. But a lot of jobs can. A lot of IT jobs, a lot of you know office types of jobs can be done from home. My uncle is scheduled to be working from home for the next three years. He's got promoted twice during this whole pandemic. That is a blessing. He gets to spend more time with his wife and with the whole family. He's not bound by his job. He, he does his hours and then, he, then he's done for the whole week. He has a work-life balance. These things are important. He gets to prioritize his health. He gets to work out. He gets to go to lunch with his wife. That is a massive advantage that he has. And with that, when I went back home, that put that into perspective. Because what I did was last year, towards the end of the year, I took a month-long vacation. I saved up my PTO for the whole year, never doing that again because it was long overdue. But what I'm saying is during my vacation, I put massive boundaries on myself. I said, look, don't call me, don't text me, don't email me. I, I set up the auto email thing where it says, hey, look, I'm on vacation. You know, it said it in a more professional way, but it said, hey, I'm on vacation. Uh, please reach out to my peers if you need it, X, Y, Z. I'm in leadership at my company and I have a lot of responsibility and I have a lot of people under me. And so for even me to put that kind of boundary on myself felt uncomfortable at first. But the moment I set that boundary, everybody respected it and they did not bother me that whole time. You've got to have time to yourself, not taking your time off of work, not setting boundaries for yourself, not straight up telling people that you will not work past a certain time. Don't call me after this time. These things are valuable. It might seem selfish, but it's not. Your job is but a speck on this earth that we live in. If you're living at work, how are you going to ever travel? How are you ever going to experience life? How are you ever going to spend that time with your family, your friends, your significant other? Your dog, your cat, it doesn't matter. Like you got to have you got to be able to spend time with people you care about. I don't care if you're at home in your underwear playing video games all day. That time is mentally valuable to spend. Being career-minded is a good thing. Overextending yourself is a horrible thing. It leads to resentment. It leads to walking away from your job too quickly. It leads to just catastrophe across the board. It leads to health problems. It's the greatest financial mistake of all time. You know how many people die in their workplace? I've been working in the corporate world for about five years now, and I've already came across over half a dozen people who have had literal mortalities in the workplace that I've worked hand in hand with. This is not a game. All for money that gets capped? That's ridiculous. I've known people who are salary and hourly who've done this. The hourly people would, you know, overextend themselves by working a stupid amount of overtime so they can say they made six figures. They made more than their boss made, but at what cost? If your boss works half the hours you work making the same amount of money, who's really winning? Not you. Money is not everything. We don't need to chase it. Money is very important, but 
I'm just saying if you prioritize your work life balance, you could then create opportunities for yourself to then make even more money than you're making at work. That's all I'm saying. It's not going to happen overnight, but it's better than making the biggest financial mistake of all time. Limiting your opportunities to be out there and live. The whole purpose of working, by the way, is so you can live, not the other way around. I say that because I'm a repeat offender of overextending myself, but it's I have a ridiculous work ethic. And I can I can honestly see that within myself. And I, I can only think if I were to put this amount of effort towards my own goals that I have for myself, oh my God, I'd be on top of the world. If I, if I were able to put that energy into myself consistently over the course of years, I'd be making millions of dollars a year. No lie. See, the reason I thought of this topic is because I know so many people, they come home from work so exhausted. I have friends who moved across the country multiple times over just for the sake of having a good job that actually gave them work-life balance. I moved across the country so I could have work-life balance, and I'm finally getting it. I see my family more often now than I did when I lived an hour away from them. Now I live 36 hours away from them. Isn't that crazy? Anyways, the whole point of this is don't become a slave to money or your workplace, or anything like that. Set boundaries for yourself. Understand and know what your rights are as an employee. And always put your best foot forward. Do your best work. Put your energy in there when you're there. But you don't need to commit to working extra hours. And, and this is for, for my younger folks who might be watching this. I remember when I first took on one of my jobs, right? And one of the senior HR guys was, uh, there was this girl who was new to HR, she was fairly young, she was probably like in her late 20s. He's like obviously in his 40s, 50s. I don't know, I'm hard, it's hard for me to tell people's ages. But anyways, he was like, hey, you mind? He was, he jokingly said, hey, you mind taking my hours for me at the end of the day? They both salary. She was like, oh yeah, I don't mind because she's grateful for the opportunity, but that's taking advantage. He's taking advantage of her time. She had kids, you know, well, she has kids, you know what I'm saying? That time could be better spent with her kids. There's been times where I've taken big amounts of PTO like I just, there's been times where I've taken big vacations like I just did a few months ago. And then my boss is like, hey, um, I still don't want you to go. It, it's still not too late. You can you can still, hey, you, you can work tomorrow and in the next few nights and then, nah. Bump that. And you gotta be dead serious. They're joking and laughing. Have a straight face. They gotta understand that you're not playing around. I, I don't even joke like that. I don't joke about my time because my time is serious. My time is important. Make sure you get a return on your investment when it comes to the actual time that you put into your job. Understand what a job is for. Let it fulfill its purpose, gain the experience, gain the valuable knowledge, gain the money, pay your bills, do it all over again. And in the background, put yourself in a position to win. That's it. Cause there comes a time where you spend so much money over because there comes a time where you spend so much time over what you're supposed to that you're not getting any return you're not getting any, any appreciation you're not getting any extra money and you're not getting promoted so what are you doing it for it's literally for nothing but anyways i know that was kind of like a vent session but you need to know that you need to know that and i haven't outwardly addressed that situation enough on youtube and here it is right here right now so I wanted you to hear it from me. This is extremely valuable advice. Please don't let this go over your head. But yes, anyways, that is the video topic for today. I appreciate your support and watching this video. I will see you in the next one. Stay cold.